So, as I'm sure many of you were watching last Saturday's Doctor Who episode, which was brilliant with all the Cybermen action and, well, what a cliffhanger, but also throughout the episode there were so many references to previous episodes, particularly Cybermen ones. But of course, one major reference that many fans have picked up on is the fact that um, John Sims Master was wearing the same costume and had the same facial hair as the classic masters did, particularly Roger Delgado. And of course, this could could have just been a reference, but what if this was more than just a off the wall reference? Well, that's why the thought, but then during the episode, there was a scene in which Sims Master was telling Gomez that he had problems with his dematerialization circuits, at which point she then gave him his. But if we look back to 1972's The Terror of the Autons, we would see that this storyline had very much in similar to this, with the Master having a problem with his dematerialization circuit, and that did work out through much of the story with the Master trying to get the Doctors, and etc, etc. But this was Delgado's first appearance, so what if this actually came after the Doctor Falls? It's there's two things there to suggest that both the costume design and also the dematerialization circuit not working. And then that and then of course there's the fact that Gomez ne I never actually says that she remembers being regenerated into from that incarnation. She says that she can't remember what happened. So what if Gomez if Sim sorry, if Sim doesn't regenerate into Gomez? And then, of course, you're starting to blow out the whole chronology of the Master. Of course, if you ask any fan, they would say that the Master's regenerations go Delgado, Beavers, Aileny, Robert, Sim, uh, Jacoby, Sim, Gomez. And, well, all we can actually be certain of here is that Beavers became Aileny and that um, Jacoby became Sim. Other than that, we have no actual confirmation of the Master's chronology. Though, of course, we can assume that Aileny becomes Roberts because in the opening of the movie, we see very cat-like eyes, and this would imply that the events take place shortly after survival. So, of course, if Roberts follows after Sim, then who did Gomez come from? Well, I'm going to say that actually... Uh, Jacoby was one of the first masters, not the first, but the probably ones before him. Because what if the master never actually ran away from Gallifrey like the Doctor did? What if he just stayed there and then went on to find a time war? Of course, Jacoby would then have been exiled from Gallifrey after the time war with the drumming stuck in his head. And of course, if Jacoby came before the classic era masters, this would explain why he no longer has this drumming. In the, earlier, in the earlier stories. So, of course, you have the child scene in, um, in The Sound of Drums, which would have been definitely the first incarnation of the Master. Then you've got probably several ones after that. And then you've got Jacoby, uh, who, of course, we know regenerates into Sim. Then if Sim presumably regenerates into Delgado, um... And then we don't know what happens to Delgado because, of course, the actor died before he was able to regenerate. So we don't know for certain who follows him. So I'm just going to say for now that Gomez follows um, Delgado. And then, of course, um, if Gomez follows Delgado, then what about all the other masters? Because of that, spoilers, of course, at the end of the Doctor Falls, um, she's lying dead with the whole place about to explode around her. Well, what if she actually regenerates successfully into Beaver's Master? Of course, um, this incarnation of the Master was synonymous with being all burnt and skeleton-like. Well, if she's um, mid-regeneration and then the massive explosion happens, then possibly that's what made that incarnation of the Master all burnt and crinkly. Then, of course, um, this as is implied, was the 13th incarnation of the Master, who stole the body of Nissan's father in the Keep of Traken, leading him to Aileny. And then, as I've said about the cat eyes at the beginning of the movie, we can assume that Aileny becomes Roberts. Though, of course, 
um, there could be incarnations after Roberts, um, such as, say, um, in the Eighth Doctor Adventures. Uh, actually, I don't really know what happened. I haven't listened to all of the audio adventures, but I could assume that he could come before Jacoby or after Roberts. I don't really know, to be honest. So there's my theory on the chronology of the Masters, that it doesn't go in accordance with how the TV show has presented it, but that actually the chronology goes um, Jacoby, Sim, Delgado, Gomez, Beavers, Eleni, Roberts. And this actually worked out better because of, of course, you don't actually see any of the Masters' regeneration, most of the Masters' regenerations, we only actually see two of them. Though, of course, there's the slug monster thing that becomes Robert's master, but I don't think it can really count as an actual regeneration. That's more of a parasite taking over a host, really. And so, that's that's my theory. What do you think of this theory, basically? Do you think it's plausible that the order of the masters we've always known is wrong? What do you think? <laughs>